All right, guys. So today uh, we are going to chat about the, uh, the Black Diamond Distance 15 vest. I've actually had this for um, quite a bit over a year, maybe actually close to two years. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. Um, I use it for you know, biking, running, um, just kind of as like a, I don't know, when I don't, if I don't need to carry a whole lot with me, um, I'll bring this. Um, so I'm gonna talk about, I think, what it is for and then what it isn't for. Um, so I like this pack because it can hold a ton of stuff. So, it's, you know, it's 15 liters. So it gives you a good amount of volume for, you know, I think three season stuff, you can get away with carrying most of what you need in this if you're doing a shorter distance. Um, you've got on the sides here, you've also got some compression straps. So you can put some other larger things in here, although the straps aren't gonna hold a whole lot of weight. Um, but they do, they do work well. And then there's a little sleeve on either side so you can stuff your trekking poles in there. Um, so I really like that. And then there are little loops um, on, I, not loops, little tog metal toggles on either side that are gonna be good for um, putting your ice axe. So you basically are just gonna, you know, put the toggle um, in the handle, there's you know, a little hole on the ice axe. You just kind of put that through um, and then it's not going anywhere. Secure it with these straps. So that's really nice. The outer material is water resistant. They don't call it waterproof, um, but I've not had any, any issues and I've been in some pretty big rains. Um, so, that, so that's pretty good. Yeah, sorry, the ice axe, the blades you'll put down in this little guy right there. So the top has a pretty basic attachment. Um, pull this toggle on there. Of course, it's giving me difficulty. There you go. And then it's going to open up just like that. Pretty simple cinch cord. So there's a good amount of excess room in this area of the pack. So you could put like a hat, balaclava or something like that. So again, cinch cord, that's really nice for just keeping um, a spin drift or whatever out. It's, it keeps it pretty secure. So it is a vest style. So on the front here, you've got, there's also, there's no padding. Um, so you don't want, you're not going to want to overload this pack, but you've got these zippered compartments on either side. So this is good for food, you know, gels, um, a phone. This does come with the emergency whistle, which is honestly, that is always nice to have. Um, you'll also see two straps on either side, good for routing your, um, your hydration bladder through and you do have there's a port right up here so come yeah, it comes out of the middle of the body then you can route it either side one thing to note that i think is definitely very important so this is an iphone 15 uh, pro max this does not fit in here um, it, you might be a, no, that's not going to go in there. And even if it, even if you could get it, oh, that's going to be real tight. You're not going to get it out. So that's a bummer, but that's what happens when you have a huge phone. So the sternum strap, it is adjustable. Uh, it's not a sliding rail. So you've got basically these little, you know, um, like daisy chains, basically. So you pop out the hook. And then you can move it on to you know higher or lower as needed. Coming down onto the rest of this, um, I guess you'd call it like a shoulder strap. You've got two pockets. Um, one can fit a relatively large water bottle, so like 
600 milliliters, not going to be a problem. You could even put like a, I have a more hard, like semi soft flask you can put in there. And then you've got a second one in here as well. So you can definitely get a liter of water um, in, you know, on one side. And then you've got the same exact setup on the other side. So I have been now with this new phone, I've been putting it in one of in one of these and that works it's not ideal definitely not ideal but that'll work you don't have any other pockets on this so you've got the, these two with the zippered pocket right there and then the same thing here so there's nothing on the side on the side you've just got this is how you're going to do a fine tuning adjustment um, so you can actually bring this in here with this cinch cord so depending on your torso, um, you can dial that in to get a really comfortable fit. So that's nice. And it's pretty comfortable. It's definitely a pretty comfortable pack. So where this thing really shines is in how much room you've got in here. So it's a 15 liter. So let's see all what I've got in here. Got my Lululemon warp light jacket, which by the way, I wear all the freaking time. And you can fit more in here, just kind of stuffing things in for an example. A large Arcteryx Cerium LT. I've got this cool Outdoor Vitals wind jacket. And then I've got uh, Outdoor Research Helium rain jacket and pants. And that's actually everything that I had in in the main body, I still had plenty of room for a whole day's worth of food. And then on the inside here, there is a little pocket for a bladder. You've got a little toggle on there so you can make sure, um, you know, you're, you're keeping that bladder up um, so it's not gonna like fold over on itself. And then you've also got in here a little, another little zippered, small zippered pouch in here. I'll throw my keys and a wallet in there. I also have taken to carrying these bleed stop packets with me. Um, they're in all of like my running and hiking stuff because hey, you just never know. Like if you have a horrible accident, you need to call search and rescue or 911. Have the one, they're like a buck 50 at Walmart and they might keep you alive until rescue comes. So that's what's in there. Um, yeah, and I just think I love this for winter running when I got to carry extra layers um, or just, you know, a medium short day hike and I don't want to carry like a whole backpack. This is super nice. Um, but what I don't love it for is like a mountain adventure, you know, 15, 20 miles where you're going to be doing some trail running, uh, maybe some scrambling, whatever else. It's really nice for that. But I don't love this as my main running vest. And I'll tell you why. Um, and what we'll do is we'll actually show you here instead of the Black Diamond, here is my uh, Ultra Spire Zygos. This is a 12 liter pack. And this is just a lot more, it's purpose built for running. On the back of this, you've got, it's actually an insulated um, water bladder holder which is very nice. This will hold a two liter bladder in there. It's got a sheet of foil insulation on there. Keep things uh, cool or, you know, not, <laughs> not getting boiling. So that's right there on the back just for that. And then you do also have hydration ports on either side so you can route the hose however you want it. But, where a real true purpose-built running vest is gonna be different than the Black Diamond, you got way more options for pockets up front. So on the Zygos, I've got a small little pocket here. You could throw like a, Gar a Garmin inReach Mini in there if you wanted. Um, so that's nice, or some salts, electrolyte tabs. You've got two pockets on the front here. Um, one really large one for, you know, a big bladder or not a big bladder, a big water bottle. You can also throw your phone in this separate um, zippered pocket 
which is really nice. And then got even more. So on the side where the black diamond vest just had the adjustment to cinch to your, uh, to your torso, you've got this nice large pocket where again, you could fit lots of food. You know, I could throw my phone in there and a bunch of food. So tons of room, could definitely throw my wind jacket in there if I needed to, or just uh, so much room for snacks which I love. And then coming on the other side, got another small little pocket. And then you've got two large stretch mesh pockets on here. So you could probably fit a one liter in this side, one liter on the other side. And with the two liter um, bladder in the back, you know, you got four liters. So you are, you're pretty rock solid. And then for clothing storage, there's a big stretch mesh pocket on the back. Oh, I've just got a gator in there. Big stretch mesh pocket on the back, put your rain gear in that. And then you've also got the main body of the running vest. So you can definitely fit some layers in there, you know, long sleeve wool jacket, um, you know, lightweight synthetic insulated layers can go in there, plenty of room. And then you've, you've got another zippered sleeve in there with a key toggle. Hey, look, more bleed stop. And then for trekking pole attachments, you've got these two toggles on the bottom. So here's them uh, kind of side by side. So the Black Diamond 15 is an awesome pack and you can absolutely use it for running. Would I choose it over my Zygos? Almost never. Where I'm gonna choose the Black Diamond is on really cold weather runs when I need to throw some larger, bulkier layers. Um, then I'm gonna throw it in here. Um, or if I'm gonna carry maybe, for me, cause I'm a videographer and photographer, um, I'll take this because it's got that extra weather resistance and I really like that. But so the choice, the choice is yours. If you're doing purely running, go with the, uh, like ultra spire Zygos or something similar. Ultimate direction makes some really great ones too. If you're a more mixed athlete, um, running is not your main discipline. The black diamond distance 15, uh, you really can't beat. And I am actually going to be throwing up some more running content on this channel. Again, I just moved down here to Tucson, uh, which is incredible for running. Um, so if you are into trail running, be on the lookout for more trail running videos on this channel. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. We'll catch you on the next one.